What is going on everybody? It's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about Robinhood versus TD Ameritrade in 2019. Which is the better broker for you? We're going to be going through some different specs to see which one fits your investment slash trading needs. We're going to be hopping into the web platform to see the user interface as well as the mobile platform. I'll do some screen recordings through my phone and put them in the video as as well so you guys can get a full understanding of what you're going to be getting with each one of these brokers so i hope you guys enjoy this video sit back relax and let's hop into my computer all right guys so here we have robinhood.com pulled up and this is what the user interface on the website is going to look like if you do sign up to Robinhood as your broker in 2019 and right off the bat guys we can see this is where your account value is going to be. You know, once you start an account, you funnel money into that account and you start buying stocks, this is where your total account value is going to be shown. And then you can swivel through different time frames to see how well your portfolio has been performing over the past week, the past month, three months, one year, and the all-time uh, performance of your portfolio. So that's pretty cool in terms of Robinhood, guys. You know, once you get some experience, start investing in stocks, you can keep a track record and see how you've been performing over these different time frames, which is really, really cool in my personal opinion. And then on this right side here, this right panel, we see cryptocurrencies. For those of you guys that don't know, you can actually trade crypto on Robinhood, which is actually something cool if you do uh, invest and trade in cryptocurrency. If you are interested in cryptocurrency, that's a cool uh, feature of the Robinhood app. Under that, you'll see the stocks that you own. Me personally, I only own one share of uh, CHK, which is actually a free stock that I got from my referral link down below in the description box. And if you guys use that link down below, you'll get a free stock and I'll also get a free stock and it supports my channel to the fullest and I appreciate you 100%. If you do use that link to sign up to Robinhood. So under this stocks tab, we see a watch list tab, which is really just a group of stocks that you're either invested in, that you want to invest in, or that you like keeping an eye on over time. We can see here on my watch list, I have Snapchat, Apple, Twitter, Tesla, Netflix, Facebook, Microsoft, and the list goes on. And if you want to add a stock to this watch list, it's very, very simple. All you have to do is go to the search bar and uh, just type in any ticker that you guys want. And let me think of one off the top of my head here so we can do this right now. Let's think of, uh, you know, maybe Coca-Cola, right? Ticker symbol KO. If you guys want to add a Coca-Cola, all you have to do is search it in the bar, click add to watch list, which is right here, and it puts it straight into your watch list so you can keep an eye on it for however long you want. So if we scroll down a little bit more on this user interface here, there's a tab called top movers. It shows some big moves that's going on that are going on in the stock market. We can see this one's down 32%. This one's up 22%, up 12%, down 12%. It just tracks some really big moves that are going on. And under that, we see recent news pertaining to your stocks, pertaining to you know the overall stock market. And this is a very useful tab. If you guys do like to keep an eye on what is going on in the market, what is going on in the economy, Economy. And this really helps you understand, um, you know, financial conditions, how your stocks are doing, you know, earnings reports based on your stocks. And it's very good to just keep an eye on the current news, you know, in the overall market. So that's what the first page of this web interface does look like. And if we want to take a look deeper into what is going on here, you can click on your account. You have some different, um, you know, options here. You have your history, your transaction history, your banking. This is where you can hook up your bank account your account here, which gives you a more in-depth look at what your account is looking like. It breaks it down into percentages. We can see here stocks and options. I have about 66% in stocks and options, and I have about 33% in 
excuse me, in cash. And we can see under that, it'll show you your stocks, the name of the company, how many shares you have, your average cost, your return on that, um, you know, on that particular stock. And under that, this is a very cool thing, actually, that Robinhood shows you is how many day trades you have left, which is pretty much something that a lot of beginner people, um, you know, really have trouble with in terms of trading because if you're a beginner and you're looking to trade in the stock market you only have limited day trades per week before you get flagged as a pattern day trader so this really keeps a track on how many day trades that you've made throughout the week and it just helps you um not trade too much and not get into uh that pattern day trader uh territory which you really can't be a pattern day trader unless you have over $25,000 on a margin account. So the main features of Robinhood, guys, if you're looking to sign up, are A, it's a 100% commission-free brokerage, meaning that each time you buy a stock and each time you sell a stock, you don't have to pay anything to the broker, right? This is very, very important, especially for beginner investors and traders out there that are only starting out with 500 to $1,000 because every dollar counts if you have that amount of money because think about it guys if you're trading with a different platform like TD Ameritrade which we're going to be talking about next well you're going to have to be paying around $7 per trade and if you have only $500 that's going to eat into pretty much all of your profits right if you're trading with $500 you buy and sell a stock that's going to be $14 and you're going to be down to about what's that like 500 or $486 and that's really just going to eat into your profits overall which is why Robinhood has become a very popular platform for the millennial investors out there the young investors out there that are starting out with a very small balance of 500 to 1 thousand dollars so another really cool thing about robin hood is that you can trade options 100 percent free and this is a great way that you can hedge against your positions in a down market with put options and you can also place call options on stocks that you believe will go up in price in the long term so options guys if you're just getting into options robin hood is a great way to get your foot in the door with the platform that they have to offer so we talked about some good things guys you know some of the downside with robin hood is that it doesn't have you know a ton of investment products that other brokerages have like TD Ameritrade, like Fidelity, some of the ones that have been around for a very long time. And it also doesn't have the best customer service ever, right? This is kind of a given because they've been around for a couple of years now. You know, other ones like TD Ameritrade, Fidelity, they've been around for years on top of years. They've built a stronger brand. They have stronger customer service. And this is just a given, guys, because Robinhood is still fairly new new but if you're out there and you're a new investor you're young right I think Robinhood is great for you to get your foot into the door in terms of trading and investing in stocks. And now let's talk about what this mobile platform is looking like before we take a look at TD Ameritrade. So just like the web interface, the mobile interface on Robinhood is super simple. You can see your account value, your cryptos, your watch list, and you can see the different time frames of your account. Very, very awesome here on the mobile app. We can see some top movers here, you know, recent news, what's going on in the markets. It makes it super, super simple. And it's very, very similar, in my opinion, to the web app really making it an awesome platform. So now that we talked about Robinhood, let's take a look at TD Ameritrade very quickly to compare their user interfaces on the web platform. So in my opinion, guys, TD Ameritrade is a little bit more complicated when it comes to their user interface on the web platform. So if you sign up with TD Ameritrade, once you log into the account, 
this is what you're going to see. You're going to see your balance here, pretty much your account overview on this first tab called My Account. We'll see here, you know, snapshots of the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, you know, the NASDAQ composite, how the overall market is looking, um, you know, in terms of the three major indices. If we, grow, if we go down a little bit, you'll have a news tab here, which you'll see, just like Robinhood, some top news that's going on in the economy. Economy, you know, the stock market in general, earnings reports, things like that. If you go to this watch list tab, you'll be able to add stocks onto your watch list, stocks that you're interested in either investing in, ones that you're already invested in, and ones that you just want to keep an eye on over the long term term. And a cool thing that I really like about the TD Ameritrade platform here is this calendar app. And this is something that is very useful in my opinion. And I wish Robinhood had something like this where it shows you earnings of companies, right? We can see on this calendar, these are parentheses, the, num the numbers in parentheses are are how many companies are reporting earnings on that particular day. So this is really cool if you like keeping an eye on companies and what they're reporting in terms of their earnings. And that's a really cool thing about TD Ameritrade in my opinion. And if we go here to dividends, guys, you can see when companies are paying dividends, you know, ratings changes, splits, right? Equity IPOs, whenever a new company is, you know, doing an initial public offering, you'll see that here, um, you know, investor conferences, economic events, stuff like that. So in my opinion, guys, just judging off this first page of TD Ameritrade, you know, this is something, um, you know, this platform is more tailored towards a more experienced investor slash trader in my personal opinion, right? There's more things going on, right? There's more tabs that you can look at and there's just a lot more products on TD Ameritrade in terms of investment products then offered on Robinhood, right? And this is a given because like I said, guys, Robinhood is more tailored towards younger people, people that are just starting out. And typically people like that that are just starting out, they don't really care about planning for retirement, you know, traditional R Roth RAs, right? 401ks, stuff like this. Because TD Ameritrade, they offer a ton of more investment products than Robinhood does. And if you're interested in starting out, you know, a retirement account, some different college savings plans, you know, if you have a small business and you want to do some of these different things, you know, TD Ameritrade might be better for you. Now let's talk about, you know, how much does TD Ameritrade um, charge per trade? Well, that's about $6.95. So if you're buying a stock, you're paying $6.95. And if you're selling one, you're paying $6.95. So in total, guys, you're paying nearly $14 to buy and sell a stock. So if you're a beginner, guys, and you want to start out with $500 to $1,000, like I was talking about earlier in this video, this might not be the move for you because you're going to be paying a ton of your profits, probably most of your profits in commission fees and this is a very hard thing um, that you're going to be facing if you want to grow your account in the stock market. So fees guys $6.95 on TD Ameritrade 100% free on Robinhood and if you want to trade options here on TD Ameritrade I believe it's $6.95 per trade and an additional $0.75 cents per contract um, that you're doing in terms of uh, options. So let's take a deeper look into what we see here on this user interface before we pull up the web app and end off this video. So trade, if you guys want to make a trade here, you know, very simple. You go to... Uh, what is this? Um, you go to stocks and ETFs, right? There's a bunch of different options here. There's options, like I just said, conditionals, mutual funds, bonds, and CDs, right? These are things that Robinhood doesn't offer. They don't offer bonds and CDs. They don't offer futures, and they don't offer Forex. And if you guys want to buy stocks, very simple, right? You click buy. You put in however many shares you want. You put in the, the ticker, right? Apple, actually Apple's AAPL, and you do a limit order 
order, whether you want to do a market order, a stop market, stop limit, you want to put a trailing stop, you can do all that here on the web um, interface. If you want to do more research on the markets, there's overview, there's news, there's indices, sectors, the calendar, analyst reports. There's a bunch of stuff you can do here in terms of research. Again, planning and retirement, like I showed you, there's our IRAs, retirement, college plans, small business plans, and education, guys. This is a big thing as well. If you guys want to see some different you know, tools being used, you can do some tool demos, strategies and ideas, you know, retirement. You can do a bunch of different education things, you know, with TD Ameritrade on this tab and of course client services. So overall guys, I think TD Ameritrade is better for a more astute investor, right? Someone that's been around, you know, a, a quite a bit, right? People that are interested in using different services, maybe client services, these education services, you know, planning retirement. These are things that Robinhood does not offer. You know, this has a more in-depth research tab in my personal opinion right if you want to look at some deeper news on ETFs right the different markets mutual funds there's just a bunch more being offered on TD Ameritrade and you really just have to ask yourself right do you want to you know start out with a small account right and build your way up to maybe opening a TD Ameritrade account right or do you want to just start off with a bigger amount of money and just go straight into TD Ameritrade and start maybe an IRA start a 401k start doing some different things it all depends on what your goal is right if you have $500 I would say you should probably start an account with Robinhood right but let's say you have ten thousand twenty thousand fifty thousand dollars i would recommend you to start an account with td ameritrade right so it really just comes down to the point of where you are in your investment career and what you're comfortable with investing in right are you comfortable paying seven dollars per trade or do you want to come and use robin hood and have no fees on your trades it's all up to you 100 percent your decision so I really like the mobile app here for TD Ameritrade. It makes everything very simple. You see the overview, you see the news, the calendar, earnings, dividends, splits, IPOs, you know, different movers in the market, you know, the sectors, indices, so you can keep an overall eye on what's going on in the market. You can see your own account value, cash balance, cash for withdrawal, you know, your positions. And this is how you place a trade. You simply just type in the ticker here you know you can put in however many shares you want and you can actually calculate it with that little calculator there to see what it's worth so overall great platform so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did feel free to drop a like leave a comment subscribe and let me know what do you think td ameritrade or robin hood drop a comment let me know i'll chat with you guys in the comment section i'll catch you in the next video have a great day peace out